Hi guys, this is Ruben, a math person, today I'll be going over question 13 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, awesome, you already, you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So, an actor is studying a prevalence of three risk factors denoted by A, B, and C, A, B, and C, within a population of women. For each of the three factors, the probability that is 0.1 that a woman population has only this risk factor. So let's say like only A. So that'll be right here, right? Just this part inside will be 0.1. And likewise, it's going to be the same for all three factors. And for any two of the three factors, the probability is 0.12 that she has exactly these two factors, but not the other. So just these two, like let's say like just A and B. So it'll be like just A and B would be this part right here. So that's going to be 0.12. And likewise, it's going to be like 0.13 for here and here. The probability that a woman has all three risk factors, so probability that A, B, and C, given she has A and B, is equal to one-third. So the probability, we know the um, conditional probability formula could be broken down by probability A, B, C, and A and B, which is kind of redundant, but it's okay. Over the probability of B, A, and B, is equal to one-third. So the probability of a, B, and C, and probably A and B. We can just <laughs> simplify that to A, B, and C, given probability of A and B. So probability of A and B will be this part right here, A and B. So you notice that's exactly equal to 0.12 plus A, B, and C, this part right here, probability of A, B, and C, which is equal to one third. So I'm gonna simplify this a little bit by denoting X to be equal to probability of A, B, and C. So this will be equal to x over 0.12 plus x is equal to 1 third. So x is equal to 1 third times 0.12 plus x. So this is x is equal to 0.12 divided by 3, which is equal to 0.04 plus 1 third x. I'm going to subtract the 1 one third x to the other side, so you get 2 third x is equal to 0.04. So then x is equal to 0.06 coolios. So we know the intersection. We basically have this whole picture drawn in 0.06 here. So the question is, find a probability the woman has none of these three factors. So no a, b, c, given that she does not have a risk factor a. So again, as a with the probability with the conditional probability formula, we can break this down into probability of A, B, and C, and not A, divided by the probability of not A. So what is the probability that it's not A? Well, if probability of A, the probability of A is equal to 0.1 plus 0.12 plus 0.06, plus 0.12, which is equal to, it's equal to 0.4. So then not A is equal to 1 minus 0.4, which is equal to 0.6. And the numerator, the probability that it's not A, B, C, and not A will just be every, anything on the outside. So that's going to be, I'm going to mark it by blue. So that's, there'll be this whole blue part right here. So that's basically saying, the, that, so probability of A, B, C, is equal to probability of A, right? Probability of A, which is 0.4, plus this right here, 0.1, plus 0.1, plus this part right here, right? 0.12. So that's equal to 0.72. So not A, B, and C would just be equal to 1 minus 0.72, which is equal to 0.28. So our final formula plugging it into our back into our original thing here will be 0.28 divided by 0.6 which is equal to 0.4666 repeating which is approximately equal to 0.467 our answer is c if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below otherwise as always make sure you like subscribe and share bye